Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2018 Collect Day model, and it is one that I was definitely highly anticipating. It is the Ceratosaurus. Look at that guy. How cool does he look? I'll tell you how cool. He looks very, very cool. Definitely one of the uh, more, like I said, highly anticipated models for me because I'm a big carnivore fan, as I'm sure a lot of people are. So uh, I was psyched to hear that Collect Day was making a Ceratosaurus. And this guy definitely is a very, very nice model. Absolutely awesome. But he does have a few minor issues that I'm not a super big fan of. He's not bad by any means. But uh, yeah, I'm not super sold on a few things on him. Not very many things, but uh, we'll take a closer look actually right now and I will explain them to you. So you can see here, taking a look at the head, the head is very, very nicely sculpted. The overall detail of the head looks very beautiful. It really looks nice. But the one thing that I don't like, and it's probably the thing that I don't like the most about it, is this coloration of the head. I feel like the coloration of the head is kind of strange, and honestly, it would look a little better if it was just more realistically applied, because, I don't know, something about it just, it looks more like it was just paint, as opposed to actual skin color, and, uh, yeah, I feel like that's probably the thing that I least like about it. I also don't really like the fact that the horn up here on the top of the head is a yellow. Uh, that's also very strange to me. And you can see it's been painted a little bit sloppily, not terrible. This will happen from time to time, so I'm not too upset about it. But you can see that the border between the black coloration and the yellow coloration isn't super smooth. And some of the yellow has run onto the black. But it's not that big of a deal, I can live with that, but just the uh, coloration of the head being the red and white and black, it's really mostly, I think, the lower jaw. This little area that's just so oddly, perfectly straight where the color changes, uh, I'm just not super sold on that area. Other than that, though, the head looks pretty good. I think that the teeth look nice, they're sculpted very nicely and uh, colored nicely. They're not a super white color, so they have a more realistic look to them. You can also see the tongue is pretty nicely detailed and looks very cool. Beautiful coloration on the tongue. You can see the coloration on the tongue is a different coloration than the inside here of the mouth, which was also a nice touch by Collect A. And then you can see looking at the eye, the eye is very nicely glossed. So the eye looks beautiful. And then the nostrils up here are sculpted nicely. Unfortunately, there is no gloss on the nostrils, which is very strange because some of the collecting models I get seem to have a gloss on the nostrils and some don't. I don't know why some have it, some don't, but this one is one, at least mine, does not have that gloss. You can see looking back here along the neck, you, the uh, sculpt work is very nice. It starts to get some of these little bumps that run along the course of the body. The ones on the very top of the back here are a grayish color. I really like the coloration on those. I think they look very good. You can see some skin folds here right behind the neck. It looks very good as well. There is a, a, some coloration change here in the bottom of the neck. You can see that it turns to this white, which is a little bit brighter here, and then it changes to a dull, uh, more of a dull type of a white or creamish type of a color right here. And then that runs the entire length of the underside all the way up until you get right back here by the cloaca. It changes to just this brownish color, which is the primary color of the whole body. And uh, that coloration itself looks pretty good. I also do like these little black spots that it has from place to place all over it. They also look very good. Going down here, you can see that these arms are sculpted very nicely. You can see all sorts of details, some little cracks and crevices and skin folds and stuff, and some muscle tone here. The uh, nails are just a gray color. They're a little sloppily painted, as you can see right there. Some of the paint has run onto the finger from the nails, but it's nothing terrible. Some more skin folds and stuff down here are nicely uh, put in there. And again, up here, some, some little cracks and crevices right there where the leg connects to the body, you can see. And then uh, some more nice muscle tone here. Very nice calf muscles. Going down here into the feet, the feet are beautiful looking. They're very, very bird-like. The claws are again a gray color, but they look very nice. You can also see, taking a look here at the base, you can see just that they have the same type of a base that they had with the Maposaurus, which I was psyched to see that they had changed their bases up a little bit. So again, the same type of a base 
that was with the Mapasaurus is also with this one with the Ceratosaurus and it looks very cool. Going back up here onto the tail, you can see that the, uh, the sculpt work on the tail looks very beautiful. Nice scales going the whole way out. And again, as I mentioned, these little bumps that run the course of the body also run the length of the tail. The tail overall looks very, very good. And then again, the cloaca on the underside. I always love that they have it look a little dirty down there too, because you know it would be. And then looking at the other side, it looks just as nice as the first side. So the overall sculpt of the Ceratosaurus is really nice in my opinion. The pose that it's in also looks very good. I really do like it. Uh, just the coloration pretty much on the face I think is the thing that I really don't like too much about it. But uh, it's not terrible, it just could have been better. And then you can see it has a, an articulated jaw but this is where the other problem that I have comes in. As you can see, that is as far as I can get it to close. Now, I don't know why it's like this, but uh, normally the collecting models, you can usually close their mouths all the way like you could with the Mapasaurus, but this guy, you can't. That's, that's it right there. So you can see a complete gap straight through the mouth. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the tongue that's stopping it. No, it doesn't look like it. That's just as far as it closes. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the jaw is articulated, so you do have that, but again, that's as far as the mouth will close, unfortunately. So pretty much all the problems with this figure lie in the head, but uh, they're nothing serious, just these little minor nitpicks that I have. Again, the jaw working a little better would have definitely been a plus, and the coloration being a little more realistic on the head, I also would have liked. This is a great figure that I would love to see a repaint of because I think with a repaint you'd really get to see just how nice the sculpt work is on this Ceratosaurus. But overall, Collecte has done a very good job on the Ceratosaurus, minus those few little issues. So like I said, a couple little minor things, but overall, I love Ceratosaurus and I love Collecte, so for Collecte to make a Ceratosaurus, I was in 100%, and I do really like the model, minus those couple little issues. It could have been a little better, but it's really nothing bad at all. It's still a very, very nice model. As far as the size of the Ceratosaurus goes, from the head to the tail, you are looking at about 10 and 3 quarter inches, so about 27 centimeters long, and then height-wise, you are looking at about almost four and three quarter inches and about thir about 12 centimeters high. So it is a very nicely sized Ceratosaurus, definitely not a small model. To show you that, I will bring in the Papo T-Rex. So you can see right there that the uh, Ceratosaurus is significantly smaller than the T-Rex, but it's a very nice size. Definitely not a small figure by any means but uh, definitely not a super huge one either. So the Collect Day Ceratosaurus, in my opinion, is definitely a win, but it's not one of my favorite figures of the year out of Collect Day. The Mapasaurus, I think, takes that, or actually the Dunkleosteus, because uh, I just recently have received him, and I will be reviewing him within the next couple of days, probably, maybe next week as well. But uh, either way, this is still a very cool model. I absolutely love Ceratosaurus. I always have. So like I said, once I heard Collect Day was making one, I was psyched beyond belief for it, and I am still very happy with him. It's still a very cool figure. I absolutely love Collect Day. They always impress me with their figures, and this Ceratosaurus is also a very, very nice figure. So Collect Day's 2018 lineup has been awesome so far, and I will be reviewing more of the 2018 lineup in the very, very near future. So keep watching the channel for that, and if you do want to buy this guy, definitely hit up everything dinosaur i don't know if he's in stock quite yet but he will be there soon enough i'm sure or to jenkins.com because i don't know for sure if they have gotten a way to get the collect day figures i know there was some sort of an issue where they weren't going to be able to get any of the newer ones uh, i don't know if that has been cleared up but i imagine they're working on it so once they have that figured out if they haven't already gotten it figured out i'm sure they'll have this guy in stock as well so please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching